The Olsen twins, aka Mary Kate and Ashley, were basically my entire childhood. I was obsessed. In recent times, they've stayed out of the spotlight for the most part and choose to live in New York City rather than Hollywood. Where it is, Mary Kate has been going through some divorce drama during the global pandemic, forcing her to house hunt for a new place. But both of the twins have been calling some gorgeous places home in New York, and today we're gonna take a look. We even found the listings. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, also known as the Olsen twins as a duo, were child actresses whose careers took off when they were merely babies. <laughs> Michelle, you don't know how to jump rope. Yes, I do. Make the rope go. <laughs> hey, my name is Michelle. <laughs> hey, my name is Michelle. <laughs> Aside from Full House, when the twins were six, they started starring in their own TV film and video roles, which became a whole brand and empire. I swear I have all of their books and Barbie dolls. What a time to be alive. Sir, if you could hurry, poor Pavor. I'm a half hour late and I'm never late. Last time I was late was in 1986 when I was born. That was my sister's fault. No, she had that umbilical cord thingy wrapped around my neck. Their company, Dual Star, which made all of this happen, allowed Mary Kate and Ashley to join the ranks of the wealthiest women in the entertainment industry at a very young age. As the sisters matured, they opted for a less public Hollywood lifestyle and turned towards the fashion industry. They've become icons, especially Mary Kate with her signature hobo chic look. They're also successful fashion designers. Most recently, there's been some trouble in Olsen Twins Paradise for Mary Kate and her husband of five years, Oliver Sarkozy. Not only has she signed a divorce petition, she's gone so far to request an emergency order so she can file ASAP. The pandemic has made this process pretty slow, but MK feels it's urgent and was even claiming that Oliver was terminating the lease on their place they were living in without her consent. All that being said, Mary Kate and Ashley are estimated to have a current net worth of $500 million, or roughly 250 mil each, so I don't think Mary Kate will ever have to worry about being homeless. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where the famous twins Mary Kate and Ashley call home, and although they don't live together anymore, they do live in the same city. I'll show you both Mary Kate and Ashley's luxury houses in New York. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We also do before and after videos on this channel where we talk about celeb transformation, so you should check out some of our latest ones on the likes of Britney Spears and TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. After cycling through several properties on both coasts, the twins are most recently living in luxurious apartments in New York, each with a style completely its own. First, let's take a look at Mary Kate's place. Like I mentioned, Mary Kate is apparently moving due to her ex-husband Oliver allegedly terminating the lease on their current place. They were living in a fancy apartment in Gramercy and also owned a gorgeous townhome in Turtle Bay, but I'm not sure yet who's keeping this one. This historic townhome was located in Turtle Bay, a tiny neighborhood wedged between the tall towers of Midtown and the United Nations complex along the East River. In 2014, Mary Kate and her man dropped $13.5 million on this beauty, which is part of the famous Turtle Bay Garden enclave. This micro neighborhood was part of New York's glamorous history created by Charlotte Martin in 1920 when she bought a collection of townhouses, transformed them, and sold them to her closest friends. The 20 houses and gardens face an elegant communal garden where over the decades some of the most celebrated personalities have called home, from Bob Dylan to Katharine Hepburn and more. Mary Kate's Turtle Bay Mansion stands 6,971 square feet inside with four or five bedrooms, two full baths, and three half baths. The 38-foot home features a small hall of mirrors, leading to a double height grand ballroom with 22 foot wood carved ceilings, two fireplaces, bookcases, and a walk in bar and pantry. Above, you'll find an expansive double height skylit artist studio. The house stands five floors above ground and has an additional basement level. The long, narrow galley style kitchen is located on the ground floor, and there's also an elevator here, a roomy reception foyer with powder room, and a bi level dining and sitting room with fireplaces on either end. Not to mention, there's a garden slash family room lined with windows, opening up to a private garden space with fountain and entry to the common garden. The second floor, also known as the Piano Nobile, has a small landing, a street-facing parlor, and a paneled bookcase lined library. French doors here open to a large roof terrace with staircase to the lower level garden. 
Two bedrooms on the third floor share a roomy his and hers bathroom with curved wall, and the fourth floor holds the large loft style space, which could also be a bedroom. Finally, the master suite privately takes up the entire top floor. There's a master bath and dressing area slash walk-in closet attached, and French doors open up from the bedroom to a stone column loggia that looks over the treetops. The main area of the master bath also opens to a slope roof space with tiled walls and an above ground exercise pool. There's also a super convenient for New York City one car garage with direct entry to the house from the kitchen. Like I said, I have no idea whether Mary Kate or Oliver is keeping this place or if they're selling. However, I heard Mary Kate may now be living in the Hamptons after having to leave the other apartment. She and Oliver owned a place in Bridgehampton, but I don't think this is the one she's living in. Reportedly, Mary Kate's renting a spot in the Hamptons for three 325k, but that's all we know about it. Oh, and the million dollar estate has its own private dock on the water, naturally. So now let's look at the other half of the Olsen twins, Ashley. Her life is even less in the public eye than her sister, but she too lives in New York City as we know. In 2016, Ashley spent $7.3 million on a gorgeous full floor apartment in Manhattan's Greenwich Village. In this neighborhood, Ashley is surrounded by the likes of fellow celebs such as Alec Baldwin who owns multiple properties here, Sarah Jessica Parker, Bon Jovi and more. Ashley's penthouse is in a vintage building constructed back in 1896 that was restored in 2014. Despite the remodel, the building still showcases the original cast iron facade that provides the perfect historic backdrop for the modern yet classic interiors of the residences. The interior of Ashley's apartment features walnut floors, barrel vaulted 11 foot high ceilings with skylights and exposed columns. Her penthouse spans 6,325 square feet, which to me is much larger than it looks from photos, and offers four beds and five baths. The apartment has a large formal living room with a wood burning fireplace, a library, and a sun filled kitchen. The kitchen also has custom white oak cabinets, marble countertops, and a spacious dining room close by. The layout here is airy and open with windows that let in a ton of light. Ashley's master suite here includes a dressing room and marble bath with a soaking tub, as well as separate stall shower. However, However, the powder room holds its own special design feature. The vanity is reclaimed marble from none other than the Museum of Modern Art. Fancy. Another highlight of Ashley's penthouse is definitely the top level, where you'll find the glorious rooftop terrace spanning over a thousand square feet of space. You can reach it by elevator or stairs if you want a bit of a workout, and the landscaping and architecture here was done by a master of the craft, Harrison Green, according to the listing. The outdoor environment here is fully irrigated with custom lighting, complete outdoor kitchen with grill, and even an outdoor TV. Her sprawling terrace offers skyline views of Midtown's most notable buildings. Ashley's building only holds six units and has tight privacy and security, perfect for a celebrity. Amenities include a full-time doorman, building gym, humidification system, and private storage. But I guess no swimming pool. So now we've taken a look at Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's homes, and although the famous duo doesn't live together anymore, who knows now with Mary Kate's divorce, maybe she'll crash at Ashley's for a while. We do know she has a gorgeous place to stay in the Hamptons for the summer though. After looking at both Mary Kate and Ashley's luxury New York City abodes, which was your fave? I loved Mary Kate's previous Turtle Bay home best. I think because of how historic it was and the classic elegant look it had. Anyways, be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as whose house tour should be up next. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!